I'm sorry, but is there any possible way you can please help us with something to eat? Which is homeless. She's pregnant. I don't have anything. Who's, who's pregnant? My wife. Well, oh. my girlfriend. You want to catch up the bus or something? Well, we're just trying to get something to eat. You know? Uh, where are you guys from? I'm a She's from Patterson. I'm originally from New Brunswick. We were both in a halfway house. But then they ended up kicking us out of the halfway house, and I ended up losing my job because of the winter, and we were homeless through the whole winter. Social services didn't want to help us out, and now we, we finally got into a shelter, but we can't get into the shelter until we both get like our birth certificates, social security cards, and everything like that. So that's what we're working on. What um what what grammar school your wife went to? Uh, yeah. I forget. John, John F. Kennedy? I she went to John F. Kennedy I think so. Grammar School? I think so. I don't know, did you try the, the mayor's office? Yeah, we went over there. They treat us like shit, excuse my language. The mayor does? We talked to some lady right there in that building. Uh, the 14th Hamilton floor. Building. Yeah. It's a tough situation out here. You got this man right there, like sleeping on a. Oh shit! I didn't even see yeah, this. Yeah, he's sleeping on a bench. He's you handicapped. Should, you should see how we sleep. And she's crazy. We sleep on a back porch. We're on a bando on River Street. You guys, have you ever guys thought about going to like Ridgewood or? Well, oh, like, I, Rim, like I said, Rim Rock. I, yeah, but what, what are we gonna? What are they gonna do for us out there? They have those are way richer towns than Patterson, and people they have way more more money to give out. They have more services. Even Highland Park, New Jersey. Yeah. That, you go a lot of a lot of the illegal immigrants are flocking to Highland Park. Really? Yeah, because the uh, the churches over there are giving them like free housing, free food, and and better really? schooling they, for their for their kids so they can get in Patterson. Wow. So the thing is, you got to get to Highland Park. As soon as possible, because right now the people there, some of the people there are complaining that so many illegal immigrants have come to Highland Park because of that that one illegal immigrant that, that the church started to shelter. Yeah. Like, or you know, like, like Richard is not even far from here. People they have a, a shitload yeah, of money. Yeah, we have no way in getting. It. Yeah. Get on, get on, yeah, get on but a train. Yeah, we don't have money to get there. Get on a train. I tell the conductor wanting to Richwood, it's his decision. If he says yes. Yeah. And you can. You need to take your bitch, but the same thing with the buses. Yeah. And, and or even Glen Rock, which is closer to the bridge, or Midland Park, which is. Yeah, I, know, I, I was doing landscaping over there and stuff. Between yeah. Glen Rock, Lodi. The Midland Park, Richwood, Glen Rock, they all have wealthier downtown areas just like this. Yeah. With wealthier people. So yeah. if you ask them for money, they'll have this post for to give you. The average yeah. person in Patterson is poor or working poor. Yeah. So you talk about like. 37% of the people in Patterson live below the poverty line. That's about 13,000 a year or less. Wow. How'd you end up here from New Brunswick? I, to be honest, I, I came home from prison and okay. they put me in a halfway house. The half a house was in, in Patterson? Eva's. Eva's. Eva's kitchen. Wow. And they didn't they didn't really give us a, a heads up. Like they told us but they didn't tell us, tell us like, oh you know, you got two weeks left, this that third. You know, and it just wasn't enough time for me to save money to get an apartment and everything like that. And I even said, I said, How can you just throw somebody out there on the street like that? And when it, when we did leave, you know, she did have a few friends and everything that let us stay there and stuff, but eventually it just, you know, it, it wears out, you know. So now we're on the street, homeless, and I gotta beg every day so we can get food and stuff. I personally, I don't give up money to people. I wasn't asking for money. Uh, you want help? Like, yeah, if you can get food or something. Okay, I don't do that either. What happens is I, I, I buy food for people at times, and they take the food and they resell it. 
Why would we do something like that? I'm not saying you would do it. it in front of you and eat it. That's the thing. I I just personally, I personally don't do it. Yeah, you gotta ask somebody who has money. 